guys, how are ya? Liz here, happy Tuesday. I hope your week is starting off good, or wherever day of the week it is. I hope it's going awesome. We're Andrew Liz here with a really fun video today because I'm gonna be going over the Lightning Collection and what's gonna be coming out in Wave 2 and what we know. Then I'm gonna go over my top five most wanted Lightning Collection figures. You guys have wondered, so here we go. It's gonna be my top five list, as well as an honorable mention tip or two, of course. And I wanna know down below what Lightning Collection figures are you most excited about that you want to see? We know what Wave 2 is gonna be, but hey, I don't know what Wave 3 is gonna be, so let me know which ones you want to see. Let's go ahead and get started with the Lightning Collection figure that we already can go out and pre-order for Wave 2, and that is Goldar. Goldar comes to us from a GameStop exclusive. He is up right now, $22.99, if you want to go ahead and get him pre-ordered. If you're going through a place like Amazon, Target, Walmart, places that are going to put him on the shelves, the normal retail price for him is $19.99. However, this is a GameStop exclusive, and their Lightning Collection figures run at $22.99. Plus, if you want to go ahead, you can get him pre-ordered in store or pre-order him online. If you would like to do so, from what I have heard, the figure in real life is absolutely gorgeous. Do not worry. I am very excited for it. I already have my pre-order in. Uh, do you? I got my pre-order in for it, and I also got my pre-order in for the uh, Kiva Fig Arts, which is still not in yet. But that is a show for a different day. Let's go over the next Lightning Collection figure that we know, and that is going to be the Red Beast Morphers Ranger Devin. We finally got the official press photos for this guy, including the helmet leash shots. We did have him out during, remember, initial toy fair? Remember that crazy hype before Beast Morphers when we finally learned about all the toys? They already had a prototype of him out. He looked great, but now we do have some official images for him. Again, Fall Wave. No pre-order links or anything out for these, but these are the ones that we do know. We also know because he was out on display, but you couldn't take a picture of him and he wasn't helmetless. Beast Morphers Gold Ranger. Yes, the Gold Ranger is actually coming out for the Lightning Collection Wave 2. Now, we didn't know who the Gold Ranger was yet, so whenever they had him out on display, I believe you actually couldn't take pictures of him uh, at the time, but they did have it out on display without the Nate helmet because they didn't know that Nate was going to be the Gold Ranger yet. Hopefully, now that we do know, we should start to get some of these official images for them. I can't wait to see how they look because the next two are going to be the ones that haven't, I guess, totally been made public, but I've mentioned them on here before. Magna Defender, yes, from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. That is a gorgeous suit. I really, really like it from what I've heard. The cape on him is going to be a cloth material from the people who have gotten to see it. Uh, they do press events uh, and, you know, insider events where people can see the figures, but you aren't allowed to actually take pictures of any of them. So these are just kind of things that we've been hearing from people, but we don't have the actual photo evidence of it yet, but they all come from very reliable sources as well as we had, I believe it was Power Ranger Talk, found the Amazon, uh, kind of like in the back end, found the names for them uh, well a while back, and then people actually seeing them in real life have confirmed it. So we have, we had our first wave, you know, Zed, Tommy, Tyler, and Doggy Kruger. Goldar is gonna be kind of the outlier since he is an exclusive. And the next wave, we have Beast Morphers Red, Beast Morphers Gold, Magna Defender. Guys, this would have made, probably would have made my top five suits, but we are getting Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Pink. Yes, which leads to the question, is she going to have multiple head sculpts? Is it going to be Kim? Is it going to be Kim, like, with the big bow thing on her head, like from season one? Is it going to come with two heads so we can have Kim and Kat? have one. Uh, me personally, I don't think Kat needs to come with it because I would like to see them do a Ninjetti pink. And then I think you could give Kat the Pink Ranger uh, helmet for that one. Or you could give her the Pink Ranger helmet for Zeo. So I think because Kat's going to eventually, hopefully, get her own sculpt and get her own head, if they only include one helmet, I, it, it's got to be Kimberly for me. But what do you guys think? Uh, do you think they should just do two? If so, what are they going to have to get rid of? You know, because they already have, you get the sword, you know, you get the weapon effect, you get the extra helmet, you get the extra hands. I don't know what they would possibly get rid of in order to make up, to put in an extra face sculpt, but I don't know. You tell me what you guys think, but I am very, very excited. It's not down here. I, I do have the SH figure arts of 
the Mighty Morphin Pink Ranger. And I really hope once Wave 2 comes out, I can do an actual side-by-side -side comparison and let you guys know what I think about them. But I'm really excited because my figure arts, I am afraid to touch the thing. Um, I bought it when it was like normal. Actually, I bought it when it was on sale from normal price. And that thing is actually skyrocketed in value. And it kind of makes me afraid to actually move it or pose it or do anything with it because I don't want it to break because I know I can't replace it. So I'm really excited for this Lightning Collection figure. That way I can properly have a display of the Pink Ranger. So there you go, guys. Those are your four Lightning Collection figures that are confirmed or confirmed for Wave 2. And now let's get to it. My top five suits. I have to say, okay... I'm not going to reuse someone who's already gotten a suit. Now, it would be easy for me to say, I love the Dino Thunder Black Ranger suit. Absolutely love it. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous suit. But because Tommy has already gotten one, I want to give other Rangers a shot. So I'm saying, okay, you'll, you'll still hear a Dino Thunder one. But I kind of didn't do that one. And I also really like Ranger Slayer as a figure, but with the Mighty Morphin Pink just coming out. I don't know if they're going to necessarily do that. I would think they'd probably do a Lord Draken before Ranger Slayer. Again, that's Tommy, so you can kind of see where I'm coming at with uh, with some of these. And if I don't even know what this list will look like if I could put uh, Black Dino Thunder on it and Ranger Slayer and, and Lord Draken. It would it'd definitely have to be a top 10 list, guys. So uh, another honorable mention, though, I've got to give to is Titanium Ranger. He was going to make my top 5, but then number 5 blasted in my head and I realized that I had to do it but Titanium Ranger for me its suit is I, it's less the suit and it's more the story behind the suit of the fact that it is an American exclusive Ranger uh, just like if we could ever get those Spirit Rangers from Jungle Fury I would absolutely love them as an American exclusive Ranger I really really hope we do get one but that's just that's just me I guess and of course and I, oh, I hate that he didn't make the list but Jungle Fury Purple Ranger, Violet Ranger, uh, RJ, man, Wolf Ranger, definitely I would love, love a figure of him, but, but guys, here we go. Number five, my absolute, I need these Lightning Collection figures, shut up and take my money right now, number five, Die She. Oh, that suit, I, it's gorgeous, it is an absolutely beautiful suit, and Jared, and, and I like the story of it from Jungle Fury, which is an extra bonus of it, but that thing is gorgeous. I would love to be able to see what they could do with it, and, uh, you know, he's a villain. It's a good redeeming arc. Definitely still human underneath, so you could still have that secondary face, but that suit, guys, regardless of how you feel about Jungle Fury, that suit is gorgeous, and I, I really, 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 really need Number four, this one, guys, remember when I said I didn't put Dino Thunder Black in here because of Tommy, even though the face sculpt, sculpt would have been different. He has short, spiky hair, you know, and the facial hair would have been different. I got to give it to the White Ranger because those two, they're, they're fire. They're gorgeous. But the White Dino Thunder Ranger, that suit to me is just beautiful. The shield, the helmet with the red, uh, this unique kind of weapon, it's... I really, really enjoy this suit. I think it is beautiful, and I would love, love to add it to my collection. And just as a fun note, I mean, Title Thunder. It's one of my favorite seasons, guys. If you want to know more about my fa favorite seasons, check out the video where I ranked all of my seasons, actually, and you'll see where Dino Thunder ranks. But spoiler alert, it's, it's pretty high up there. And it's a really good suit. And Trent's just like, wait, Ranger Power. It, or what, however he said it. It was, his morph was very interesting also. Okay, top three, and start thinking of what you think my number one suit's gonna be, okay? Just, just start getting that in your head. Top three. This also is going to one of my absolute favorite seasons. And people kept asking me my ranking seasons, Liz, where was Hyperforce? Well, I'll tell you where Hyperforce was. Hyperforce was on the first rank in my heart. But the tier ranking thing that everybody was using didn't include Hyperforce, so I didn't have a Hyperforce logo to use. So yes, guys, it's Hyperforce. And as much as I would love Vesper with all of her attachments that she could have for ours, I mean, God, uh, how amazing would a Pink Ranger one be with her Battleizer? But I gotta give it to my boy Paul Schreer. I gotta have the yellow Hyperforce suit. 
how amazing would that be? A little bulkier. That ram hammer. Oh my gosh, the hammer. I would love to see that thing in real life. The helmet and everything in 3D. Please, 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 please. Hasbro, if you're listening, I don't know why you would be, but Hasbro, if you're listening, give us something, Hyperforce. I think, you know, if they're saying, look, we're going to do, you know, the super popular ones and they're going to throw maybe one in for the fans or something out of ever, make it a exclusive. I don't know how it has to be, but I have got to have Chuck D. Thomas as a figure. It would, it would just, it would make my hair. It probably would. So I'm going to get to number two. And before I get to number two, I got to say, this is probably not, number two is probably not going to be who you think it is. Because I'm betting there's a lot of you thinking, well, I know, I know who Ranger Liz is going to have as number one. Because clearly, Ranger Liz wants this figure. Oh no, my friend. I have one even better. Super Mega Force Yellow. It's my number two most wanted suits. And do I really need to give you guys much more of a talk other than look at this beautiful thing. It is absolutely gorgeous. I need it with the swords. I need to be able to have a figure to pose of this. I regret I only got the four inch. I can't believe I paid ten dollars for this figure. Uh, the four inch of regular Mega Force. I never got a Super Mega Force. I never got any Super Mega Force figures. And because of that, uh, I, well, I regret it, and I really wish I had them. So this would be my absolute, I will, I would fly to wherever, I'd help with the press junket, I would just, I'd walk around with this helmet saying, everybody go buy this figure because it's gorgeous. You know I would do what I had to to make this figure possible. Which leaves, guys, that was number two. That was number two. So we had Daishi as five, Dino Thunder White as number four, Jack D. Thomas Hyperforce Yellow for three, another yellow with Super Mega Force Yellow, Gia, my homegirl, she's number two. I gotta tell you guys, so for any of you who shocked, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why this has to be my number one most wanted figure. No swapping Ranger helmet. I'm talking swappable hairstyles for astronomer. <sighs> How amazing would that be, guys? I would flip. I want to see astronomer in the black normal alpha that we see it with her. Give her and set her Lord's Ed staff. She's going to have her giant astronomer staff. But I don't, no, no, no. You don't even have to have swappable hands. Give her the swappable hands. Give her the swappable head. Instead, it's going to be like a Lego piece, and we're just going to plop different hairstyles on her. Guys, go check out Morphin Legacy has a breakdown. I think she actually has like seven or eight different hairstyles and in space so they couldn't even fit all of them in it. I'm just saying give us like three or four different swappable hairstyles for astronomer and I I would flip my wig. No, I mean, this is not a wig. It would look better if it was a wig. I would be freaking out if we got an astronomer figure. But you know what? This is just what I think and I don't know what you guys think. Give me your top one or it, top five. Keep it at five or less, because I want to know what are the absolute most wanted figures that you guys want to see in this Lightning Collection. For me, you know what I want. There are still so many amazing suit designs, though, that I would love to see over the years. Uh, like Down Thunder, their Triassic mode. That would be really cool. Let's go, uh, I don't know, Megaforce with a shield. Can we get more shielded ones? Tommy, uh, Ninja Storm has some really great designs I'd love to see, but... That is my opinion, so what is yours? Lots of figures, lots of stuff coming out. If you haven't done it already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification, that way you are alerted anytime I post a new video. And as soon as I get more information about the Lightning Collection, you know I'm going to talk about it. Let's talk about Power Rangers every Friday on the Ranger Week in Review. I would absolutely love to see you there. Have a fan-freaking-tastic week. Ranger Nation, mwah, I love you all, and I'll see you at the next video. Toodles! Is this where I do the clickbait that says my top five lightning figures, but number one isn't what you'd expect?